Hello. In this solve problem, I'll explain how to get familiar with calculating the energy level of electrons in the shells of an atom in an X-ray tube. We take an X-ray tube and we keep molybdenum as a target. We shoot out electrons from the cathode and X-rays are generated from the molybdenum anode and the wavelength of those X-rays are given as 0 0.071 nanometers. Inside the molybdenum atom, the electrons in the K-shell have an energy of Ek, which is given. We are to find out what is the energy level of the electrons in the L-shell of the molybdenum and also what's the energy increase of the molybdenum atom if an electron were to be knocked out from the L-shell. So let's start with characteristic X-rays. They are created when the incoming electrons from the cathode knock out the inner shell electrons from the anode. So here the innermost shell is the K-shell and when an electron gets knocked out from the K-shell something from the outer shell will jump in there and the next outer shell is the L-shell. So we use the formula lambda or the wavelength of X-ray equal to HC divided by EV where EV is the energy of the outcoming X-ray. So write it as E X-ray equal to EV that will be HC divided by lambda. We know H is Planck's constant, the value given here. We know that C is the speed of light, 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. And in the denominator, plug the value from the problem, which is 0 0.071 nanometers. When you do the math, you will get the energy of the X-rays as 17.5 kilo electron volts. This is the first step towards uh, solving the problem. Now, the X-rays are generated when the electron jumped from L-shell into the inner K-shell. That means that if E-L is the energy of the electron in the L-shell, E-K is the energy of an electron in the K-shell, E-L minus E-K is equal to the energy getting released as X-rays. So put that in, E-L minus E-K will be equal to plus 17.5 kilo electron volts. So EL is equal to EK plus 17.5 and substitute minus 22.32 plus 17.5. That becomes minus 5.82 kilo electron volts. So this is the energy level of an electron in the L shell of the molybdenum atom. Now the second part of the problem is what's the energy increase of the atom if an L shell electron had been knocked out instead of a casual electron. That's nothing but this except the sign changes. So when we knock out a L-shell electron from the atom, the atom will become positive energy because it lost a negative energy of minus 5.82. As simple as that. So there's not uh, you know, a need to get confused in this particular matter. I hope this video was useful to you. Thanks and have a great day.